oh, hey, sorry. I was just sitting here, uh, well, doing what everybody else is doing, which is being on the phone, which is why making your WordPress website or any website really mobile friendly has to be a top priority. What's up everyone? I'm Jeffrey at Lightbox. I'm a full stack designer and creative director. And for this video, I'm partnering up with Verpex Hosting to bring you my top seven suggestions and recommendations to make your WordPress website mobile friendly. Tip number one, making sure your header takes up minimal space. All right, this is a very common mistake that I've seen where the header could be made too big. The logo could be very big, the menu stacked underneath the logo, and what ends up happening is the header, the, the part with, with the logo and the menu, ends up taking about 25%, 30% of the space on the screen. We have to realize on our phones, we only got a certain amount of space on there and we wanna make sure that the banner is clear and easy to see and that's what stands out. It's super important that whenever somebody comes to visit our websites, they know exactly what that website is for. And that's usually inside the banner. We make the banner stand out, we put a nice tagline in there and usually people know that, okay, that's what this website is for. So we wanna make sure that stands out and we don't have a really big header and a very big logo that takes up most of the screen or just even a good portion of the screen. Tip number two, making sure our menus are easy to use. It's really important that we have easy accessibility for everyone. If we create our menu links and the text too small, well, it's going to be hard to tap on it. You got to think about some people who might be older, might have uh, some vision uh, impairments or some people like me with really big thumbs that, and fingers where it's kind of hard to tap on it. So when it comes to our menus, we want to make sure that the text is big and that we have a lot of spacing between the different menu items, making it really easy to navigate. And just think about this as you're building the website. Can your grandma use it easily or will she have a problem tapping around? She'll have a problem tapping around. That means we need to do some improvements, make the text a little bit bigger, add some spacing, and just make the menu easy to use. Tip number three, paragraph text. All right, so usually when we are making the mobile version of our website, we're making the title smaller because the titles could go really big on a desktop, but then on the phone, we have to make it smaller so that way they're not massively huge. But with paragraph text is actually opposite because text is a little bit smaller on the phone. The phones look different from our computers and we have different resolutions, different types of screens, so many different types of phones. So where your text on your computer might look normal size, when it goes to your phone with that same size, it's gonna be a lot smaller and harder to read. So one thing I like to do is make my text a little bit larger. I increase it. I wanna make sure the paragraph text is bigger, it's easy to read. And another thing about paragraph text, we have to make sure it's always aligned to the left. Don't use it in center alignment. The thing is, the eyes, the human eyes, it takes time and it takes effort for it to go back and forth. And even though you could read it center text and you could probably read it and it might even look better, but it puts more strain on the eye. A lot of tests have been done and it shows to, you have to go back and it's always a different location. But when it is all aligned to the left, the eye goes back to the same location, making it a lot easier for people and humans like us to read. Tip number four, spacing. This one is another very, very important tip right here and something we got to make sure of on our mobile websites is that we have a lot of spacing between different elements. It's kind of like what I just spoke about with the paragraph text or eyes. It, it could put strain if we have it centered. Well, if we don't put spacing, it puts even more strain on the human eyes because the eyes need a break. We need to break things up. What I like to do is I like to keep 80 pixels or even 100 pixels between each section. That way it breaks it up. It makes it easier for the user to go through the website, to swipe through it. And remember, people are only scanning, but they can scan the information a whole lot easier. Tip number five, make sure there are no automatic moving elements. 
I know it's kind of cool to have like sliders or carousels where you have the testimonial sliding or logo sliding or blogs. Yeah, they're, they're fun. They're really neat to put on the desktop. But when it comes to mobile and we have those automatic sliding elements, what ends up happening a lot of the time is you could be going down the page and you could be trying to read something, but those sliding elements at the top are pushing the content up and down. I mean, has this ever happened to you where you're trying to read something, but it keeps moving? It is so frustrating and hard to use. So we got to make sure if we are going to use a slider like a like a testimonial carousel that we have it turned off for mobile and that it's not sliding on its own. Let people slide it themselves. It's actually proven through studies that it helps the website interactivity with micro interactions. When people get to tap on things and get to swipe things, it keeps people more engaged with the web page versus making everything automatic and bouncing all around. And tip number six, that is the overall consistency. We want to make sure that everything is consistent. Paragraph text, make sure it's all the same titles keep them the same when it comes to the spacing in between elements keep all those spacings the same and the spacing on the sides we want to make sure those stay consistent and the same throughout the entire web page another thing too is you know you're going to have some elements where you have like text on this side and an image on this side and that's on the desktop but when it goes to mobile you know, the image will jump up here, the text will jump up here. But maybe the next section where you have an image here and text here, they go in reverse. And what ends up happening is you either have text, image, image, text, or vice versa. Well, we got to make sure that stays consistent. You should either have image, text, image, text, or text, image, text, image. Now, those are the little things right there, but those little things make a massive difference. Consistency, I'm always talking about consistency with my team, and whenever we're doing some design work, it's all about consistency. That's how we make our designs look a whole lot better, because have you ever wondered, why does that look so good, and how come no matter what I do, it doesn't look right? Well, a lot of the times, almost all the time, most of the time at least, if something feels wrong or off in the design, it's because something is off in the consistency. This is little tiny things. All right, and tip number seven, the most important tip out of everything, you gotta test on the phone. As you're building the site and making changes, you got to check it out on the phone because even if you're using a great tool like Elementor where it's easy to make adjustments for the mobile part of your website, for the mobile version, well, whatever you see there is not going to be identical to what you see here. There are going to be little differences. Text sizes are going to look different on the desktop than they do on the phone. Spacing might look a little bit different. Use the desktop to make your changes, but use the phone to see what needs to be changed. And with these seven tips, I can promise you your mobile versions of your websites are going to be so much better. It's going to be a lot easier for your users to use. You'll also get a whole lot better results on your website. Well, I really appreciate you watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And do all that good YouTube stuff because Verpex, they're partnering with a lot of creatives like myself to bring you more value, more content, things that are really going to help you out with improving your skills and with just overall value to their customer core base. That's it. And thank you for watching. Bye.